Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a multi-layer switch or a layer 3 switch as your DSCP server. Remember in the previous uh, videos we've covered how to configure a router as a DSCP server, how to configure a firewall as your DSCP server, and how to configure a normal DSCP server device to provide dynamic IP addressing to host devices. So today we are going to configure layer 3 switch or multi-layer switch. So you are going to need a layer 3 Cisco switch and I'll choose 36, 50, 24 port switch. Okay. So this is a multi-layer switch and I uh, also need two switches or even three. Let, 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 let's just say three. Okay there's something I want to demonstrate that's why I'm choosing three okay and uh, four PC what I'll do is just to connect them very fast so if I may describe this simple topology we have a, a layer 3 or a layer switch on top and three access layer switches so each access layer switches, I mean each access layer switch will access one VLAN, okay? But for the case of the middle access layer switch, we'll have to configure two VLANs here, okay? All right. So for example, this is VLAN 10. This switch is VLAN 10. This switch is VLAN 20. But this one is VLAN 10 and 20. That's simple concept I want to demonstrate. All right. So what I'll do click on multi layer switch and drag a power supply and put somewhere there and close all right so i will go to this switch this switch and this switch to configure vlan so let me start with this one enable config t uh, vlan let's say vlan 10 vlan 10 sorry vlan 10 all right okay now let's make this computer access VLAN 10 and computer is connected to which port? FA0 slash 2. So exist. Interface FA0 slash 2. Switch port. Mode. Access. Then switch port. Access VLAN 10. Okay. Exit. And then guys finally before we can exit from this switch we need to configure this interface as a trunk interface okay because as you can see it's connected to another switch here okay so let me do that very fast and the interface is fa0 slash 1 so i'll go very very fast save time fa0 slash 1 switch port mode at trunk switch port mode trunk okay so exit and do right then we move to this switch before we come back to this one and configure VLAN 20 there enable config T then VLAN 20 ok exit interface FA0 slash 2 I believe so this one is FA0 slash 2 good to access VLAN 20 pitch port mode access then switch port access vlan 20 exit then let's make this one trunk interface which is a uh, fa0 one so it says fa0 one switch port mode trunk okay exit and do right okay so let's finally let's go to this switch before we can configure a multi-layer switch above here. So on this switch we are going to configure VLAN 10 and 20. Okay. And make this one access VLAN 10 and make this one access VLAN 20. But this one will remain trunk interface. Okay. So enable config T. Okay. Then uh, let me create the two VLANs. VLAN 10 vlan 20 okay exit all right so this is fa0 to access, access vlan 10, 10 or 20 interface fa0 slash 2 switch port 
mode access then switch port access vlan 20 let's say 20 okay exit then uh, another one is fa0 slash 3 i believe this one fa0 slash 3 okay then uh, switch port mode mode access then switch port access vlan 10 now okay exit and do right okay guys and finally let's configure this as a trunk interface right so this is fa0 slash 1 so fa0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk trunk okay exit and do right so so guys we're done configuring access layer switches so we'll go to a layer 3 switch or mat layer switch and configure these three interfaces as trunk interfaces okay trunk port no enable config t interface range this is a gig sorry sorry gig 102 gig 101 gig 103 so it's a range of um, interface range gig 10 slash 0 slash 1 to 3 okay then switch port mode mode trunk okay exit right so guys basically let's start configuring dcp server the first thing that we need to do is to configure vlan interfaces okay so we are going to create how many vlans two vlans because on these switches we've only created two vlans vlan 10 and vlan 30. so vlan 10 vlan 30, 20 i mean sorry okay then exit now we are going to assign ip addresses to the vlan interfaces okay so we'll just say interface vlan 10 okay so IP address 192.168.1.1 okay sorry 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 IP address IP address to be 192.168.1.1 seven mass of 255.255.255.0 okay and no shot okay exit then let's go to VLAN 20 VLAN 20 also you s you configure IP address let's say the IP address was 2.1 okay and uh, no shot okay so finally let's configure DCP server how do we configure with DCP server what we've done right now is just to enable inter-VLAN routing okay all right so let's configure DCP server well, how do we start service DCP let's enable the the, the service I mean then a pdcp pool pool let's say pool one is vlan 10 okay then the network address to be 192.168.1.0 right 255.255.255.0 and now default router or default gateway will be the ip address of the vlan 10 interface and the ip address of vlan 10 interface was this one okay and i paste default router that one okay and uh, dns server let's just but we can just omit it but uh, we can even configure it okay so exit now let's configure another pool for vlan 20 okay ipdcp pool vlan 20 okay and uh, network address to be 192.168.2.1.0 I mean okay network address of VLAN 20 set mask of 255.255.255.0 okay then default router will be 2.1 the IP address of VLAN 20 interface okay very simple guys very simple and DNS server it's not a must but you can just configure okay exit and guys before you do anything before you end the configuration there's one very very important command that we must include here 
we must enable routing on a multi-layer switch. Okay? Through which command? IP routing. Do right. Now we are done. Let's test our configuration. For example, this switch, this computer here is in VLAN 10. So I will just want to see if it, if it will take any IP address in one dot something. As you can see, DCP successful, it has taken one or two, and the uh, default gateway is this one, right? And this PC, I don't know which VLAN it is, but let me just test. Remember on that switch, we had two VLANs, VLAN 10 and 20. As you can see, it was in VLAN 20, 2.2. .2. Okay, and this one also should be in VLAN 10 now. It will take 1.2, I believe. 1.3, as you can see, good. But now this is VLAN 20. Let's test that one. Great, guys. So everything is working. And let's test communication. So for example, this is 3.2.3. Let's try to ping 2.3. Ping 192.168.2.3. Okay, let's just give it time. It will ping. Guys, basically, very easy how to configure DSCP server on a multi-layer switch. What you need to do, configure the VLAN numbers on, configure the VLANs on access layer switches, make this, the link between the two switches to be trunk, assign VLAN numbers to ports, then come to a multi-layer switch, create VLAN interfaces, assign IP addresses, then create pools, okay? And the default route of a pool should be an IP address of a VLAN interface okay so guys basically I believe this video will really help you know how to configure a multi-layer switch as your DSCP server and before I end this video allow me just to make it look a little, little bit beautiful okay guys so bye and see you again in the next video thank you for clicking